it here to Talking Stick Resort Arena as we take a look at tonight's starting lineup. The Clippers going with the veteran Patrick Beth, a mama's boy, and I think all of us can certainly appreciate and leave an unbalanced floor. He said you've got to be especially disciplined against this guy as Kawhi Leonard opens up the scoring with the He's a tremendous jump shooter even from behind the three-point line. Beautiful slip pass from Booker inside. Oubre, good look out of the corner, and cashes in. Chances are he'll foul you trying to get through the screen. Booker swings it outside to Sharic. Great sign right there. The Suns out of the gate with a 10-0 run. All you need is one. Leonard working off the big man screen and beautiful pocket pass in. Oh, yeah. I mean, his passing ability is just pristine right now. Career high, nine assists. Oubre got a hand on it, racing for the loose ball. Comes away with it. He's getting ready to check in. Sharrett's got the mismatch. Powers it up. The finish it off the bench in 2018 for nearly 22 per game. Shamit got the clean look and able to knock it down. 11 of 11 from the line last night. The Suns as a team were 31 of 32 as Montrez Harrell just doing work. Well, that's the shot I wanted Sarge to take. And, and he and Harrell about the same size. You get in the paint, you got to let it go. After the game last night, it was kind of a live and learn situation that knew it would be difficult as the Suns turn it over there. Harrell on the recovery and gets the finish. Carter left wide open. Can't capitalize, but Baines there with the offensive rebound. And goes right back at Montrez Harrell. Suns playing without DeAndre Aiden. Last couple of seasons, that game would have gotten away from Phoenix early as we get a whistle and a foul. When he set a screen and pushed off on Booker. Kobo across the lane. Nice left-hand finish. Possibility to guard Devin Booker. He doesn't want to guard anybody that's not a score. He, he wants top dog. He would get the switch. Booker drops it off to the cutting. Oubre who rises up and slams it home. Tremendous pass from Devin Booker. Final second runner from Williams and no basket, they say. There. And so now you got to go back and you got to do all the things to get your confidence back. And one of the things to do is get out of the sudden you start to loosen up. Well, we saw him hit two free throws there late in the fourth quarter, and then he ended up hitting a few more shots. Nice yeah. shot. Patrick Patterson as well. And, and that's why the Clipper team has been dominant early because of the way those guys have played. Tough pull free throws for a long stretch. Five on the shot clock. Leonard working on the second year, man. Bridges. Turn. Well, they're going to go to Kawhi every time trying to. That guy doesn't miss shots. Booker trying to turn the corner. Gets inside. Slips past Leonard to Denver. Suns by five. Shot clock at three. Beverly on the drive. Throws up a wild shot. That's funny. <laughs> Booker working on the. Second year guard Landry Sham it again. Want to right at the youngster. Sham it coming right back. Drops it off to the cutting to Michael Green. Shot. Seems to defending him. And he's learning. Uh, I'm sure he's watching a lot of film. Kaminsky straight away. That doesn't mean he can't make it. Booker going to work on Sham it again. Kaminsky gets another look. Same result. Trying to get the ball to Leonard, but Bridges doing a nice job forcing him out. They kick it to Patterson, and Patterson counter. Beverly running down the other end of the floor, shaking his head. And it takes it right to the rim. And, uh, the madhouse on McDowell and playing and going to the finals, John McLeod and, and uh, Alvin Adams and just every to the foul situation. Well, that's what a coach is supposed to do. Right, the players are supposed to play and let the coach get the technical foul. Sharks knock it down. He uses Baines, it's like a trampoline. Booker able to navigate across the paint with Shamit. They're charged with 20 fouls, the Clippers with just 10. Suns already with three players, three personal fouls. Carter doing a nice job, face up defense on Williams. 
Williams slips a pass inside and a little redirect. Get the hockey assist before you can start at living. And so that's the key for Devin. Got a six second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. And sweet look. Get it counted, but he needed a shot to go in to get that confidence goal. Leonard was looking for the foul call, but gets the shoot. Kelly Oubre tangled up there. Loose ball. Booker comes away with it. Long, deep three. Registered the three-point. That is no longer the case. Well, players are being held accountable, too. You got a Euro Deluxe there. Leonard steps into the passing lane. And Kawhi last night. But down yet another man here tonight with no Ricky Rubio. Sharks catch and shoot on the way. And loads it up. Had a dose of his own medicine. Guns needing that hoop is their turnovers had turned in. Good job of just playing it straight up. Sharch facing up on Zubox, slips it inside of Kaminsky. Boy, not to the justice is being having a target on their back. They, they don't, they're not used to that. Kawhi is, but the Clippers on a whole hang on and and they can deal with it. Yeah, won the 48 games last year without having an All Star in their team is Kaminsky to start his first in his son's uniform. Clippers turn it over. Carter out front, coming right at Shamit. It's hung up in the air. How about that little? Slate so forces the L.A. turnover. Not many people can bother Lou Williams like that. Carter squares, fires, and his lead against this powerful Clipper squad. Green counters with his own. There are two to play here in this Third quarter, the Suns going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Clippers. Cam Johnson. Good. Last night, Carter splitting the double team, finds the combo, racing right to the rim, gets the reverse, and there's your answer. The Suns ball, five-point Phoenix lead. Kaminsky inside, beautifully executed. In that tells you that the Suns are making them work. When, when Kawhi Leonard gets emotional on the court like that, you know the shot to Ubre, shot clock at three. Can't bring it down in front of him. Leonard ties it up. You can't bring the ball down in front of him. You, right there. Snatched that one away. Ubre head down, barrel to the basket. Rings it up. Leonard draws the double team. Harold inside. He's so His footwork is just exceptional. Yeah, it really is. Booker draws the double team out to Bain. Stepped into the three and knocks it down. Put the whammy on it. Shot 87% last season. Leonard moving to his right. Once again, flirting with a career high in assists. Booker turns, fires the three, and rips the rainbow. Back into the game. He and Shamit both playing with five personal fouls. Booker inside to Bain. Hangs and he it's all about execution and discipline, as Monty Williams talked about before the game, because this guy, Ripper on the drive, tapped away, up ahead to Leonard. Swings it out to Williams. That's like a late. Put him on Shem, so Devin plays smart, he won't pick up a foul. Williams on the drive, Bain to the block. Harrell with a follow and the roll. Williams. Raising up pass and stops, thrown away by Oubre. Kelly on the drive, bobbles, inside left hand, no! The follow slam, yes! To the first half, early third. But it's created a spark here late. Oh. Leonard oh. with a three-point hit. <laughs> Minsky finds Johnson, corner three on the way, and cashes in. Cut. Montrez Harrell continues to play an outstanding game. Booker, deep three, and registers the... There he is. He got his 30, but he also continued to move the ball, right, to have the all-around game. Leonard with a step back three in the face of with anybody. And that has come to fruition tonight. Baines, no quit. And that...